Oh, it's moving. Hello, welcome back to the Scratch 3D Printing. It's going to be an unbox of some filament. Then we will test the filament and see how pretty it look. I got a box of 3D printing filament. Let's open this. <clears throat> Getting fresh new filament is so fun. The first filament, HP 3D filament. I got two from HP 3D filament. The last one is from Zero. Let's unbox this one first and then we will do test prints with all three of this. Ah, it's not sponsored. I just found them on Amazon and I just bought them because they look gorgeous. Okay, let's take a look at what they give you. This is a gradient twinkling PLA starry sky. They also give you some cleaning filament. Not many manufacturers are doing this these days. That's it with zero. They also give you a sealable bag. That is a very nice bonus. Okay, let's open this pack. Oh yeah. Fresh new filament is so fun, so good. Smell is amazing. Oh, look at that. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they're so shiny. I think this and this are the same. I'll have to check. Oh. Um, kind of sad now. I read on Amazon their listing. They say that you will get this filament. You will get a resellable bag. You will get cleaning filament. You will get another sample filament that is random. But I got the same thing. Why? Why would you put the same sample filament with the filament that people buy? It should have been white, red, any other color that you have on stock. Why would you give people the same no, no. Now I am not able to try two filament for the price of one, but it's okay. It's okay. I think it's a mistake on their side. HP 3D. Whoa, they put it in a bubble bag. Unwrap it. This is HP 3D filament PLA Plus White Glitter White. This is Glitter White. Been searching online for Glitter White filament that is different than just pure white. And we will print this and see if it's that glittery cool. The last box. Whoa. Okay. And I got this. Let's see what they give me. You will get a UV light. Whoa, it's purple. You will get this UV light and this package. If you buy this specific... Um, filament on their listing on Amazon which if you are interested in any of this stuff any of this filament I will leave links down below so you can go and check it out for yourself inside here we get their business card and you get a charger a very short charger you shine the light into the filament and then turns into glitter glow in the dark which is pretty cool you can you can really see I will turn off the light Okay, so this is what the filament looks like in the dark without using the UV light. It's shiny, glowy, sparkly, spotty, whatever you want to call, in the dark. And it looks really, really freaking amazing. Let's get to printing. Okay, this is concerning a bit because uh, I was just putting zeros sparkly black filament in my K1 Max and this is what happened it just snapped off so it's a brand new filament I just opened it like two minutes ago and it it just snapped off it's so brittle it's so brittle what are PLA this brittle I haven't printed with PLA for such a long time now and it's just breaking like crazy yeah, if you left it out for a long time, yeah, it's going to be brittle, but this is brand new filament and it just breaks so easily. I'll give it a try and see if it prints pretty. Okay, the print is done. Okay, I don't know why all of these filaments are so brittle, man. This one is very brittle too. Look at that. PLA Plus. Why is PLA Plus so brittle? Is it because of the... Look at that. Is it because of the extra texture? I feel like that will give improvement, but 
It's so brittle. What? I don't know if these are bad rolls or it's just this brittle. Because <laughs> usually PLA Plus is not brittle. PLA is brittle, but PLA Plus is not brittle. And this is PLA Plus. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid it might snap in the K1 Max, but let's print this and see how it is. Okay, some of you might be wondering, of course, PLA is brittle. Uh, what do you expect out of it? Okay, this is Elegu Rapid PLA Plus, and it shouldn't be brittle. Look at this. Elegu PLA Plus, Rapid, this is a Rapid, and you can bend it, and it's still perfectly fine. This is what PLA Plus should be. Most of the filament that I buy, PLA, it's very brittle. But if they are PLA Plus, it's not brittle. Like this, this is not brittle. You can fold it like that and it doesn't break. These are Elegu. That's why I love Elegu's Rapid PLA Plus. It's Rapid's rated 600 millimeters per second and it's PLA Plus and it's very not, it's not brittle at all. It's not brittle at all. You do this, right? I'm doing it so hard, look at this. I mean twisting it. And you can still print them. You can still print this. You can still put it into the printer and it will still print perfectly fine. But that one and the other filament, it's so brittle, you just snap it off. Look like at this, I'm trying so hard and finally did it, but this is why Elegu PLA Plus is so nice and I bought so many of them. I just recently bought four pack of this <laughs> just because of the quality of this. Look at that. You can do that with this, but the other one you can't. But anyway, let's um, continue testing the filament that I got. Okay, the second print with this filament is done. <sighs> this is a really cool dragon. Okay, let's open this. Glow in the dark glitter sparkly PLA and let's get to printing. This one is not that year tight seal. It's whatever. There's no satisfying sound coming out. Alright, it's done printing. Let's go. Took 2 hours 47 minutes. Oh, it's moving. Alright, let's talk about the prints this is zero glitter black print so as you can see here it looks really nice it looks sparkly black I print this with a brim so I'm gonna take it off came off very nicely it also came off very cleanly but I did notice this is if you can see that right right there it was carrying some string over so uh, the print inside is pretty clean. There's like minimum, minimum stringy. Let's see if this thing can close. Nice, that's very nice. If you wanna print this little teeny tiny circle storage box, it will be linked down below to the original person that created this thing. Looks amazing flawlessly. I scaled this thing down 50%. The black filament, sparkly black filament looks really beautiful. It looks even better in person. I'll show it here so that you can see the detail more clearly. Look at that. It has some sparkly teeny tiny stringing. But if you don't look closely, you can't barely tell that it has a layer because of the sparkly. Ooh, looks so nice. It's pretty long. Yeah, some minimum stringy. I print this thing at 200 millimeters per second. The filament rated at, at about 70 millimeters per second. 290, I believe, I forgot, but it's under 100 millimeters per second rated, but it's printing at 200 millimeters per second and it prints so perfectly nicely. Look at this to showcase the filament sparkly just look at that glitter spark whatever you want to call it it looks so amazing the third print i did is with hp 3d filament this is glow in the dark green so i'm gonna turn off the light look at this it's just green but just to showcase how beautiful it's printed 
like I said, I will link all of these in the description and you can go download them yourself from the original creator. Printed so nicely. It came out very, very nicely too. I'm gonna turn off the light, okay? Turning off the light, turning off my flashlight. Oh, look at that. It's not glowing yet. Like I said earlier, when you buy this filament, they gave you a free UV light with the filament spool. Okay, turning on the UV light. It's very bright, man. It's so bright. If you go here, it's not bright, but if you shine at the model, filament model, it's so bright. You don't need to do it that long. You can do a quick run around like this. Get his arm, get his head. And you want to see the result? Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, look at that glow. Oh my goodness, dude, that looks so freaking sick. Ooh, look at the glow. Man, that glows so nicely here. I'll do very close, and yes, as you can see there, there are sparks too. Glitter, sparkly, whatever you want to call them. These teeny tiny little black dot right there, the white dots right there, those are embedded into the filament it glows once you shine the light on it one downside is that the light from this fade away very quite fast it fade away quite fast to be honest that's only like what 15 to 20 seconds and it's almost back to normal filament i wish it would last longer if you do your flashlight this flashlight just a normal flashlight it actually lasts a little bit longer i did a testing with that it lasts like 20 to 30 seconds longer which is so nice but it takes quite long for the flashlight to light up the filament it only takes like a second to light the filament up using the uv light look at this that's like one second not even one second and it's already light up compared to its body <laughs> but if you compare it to the original filament over here you can see the difference there's the filament there's a print that I shine with the UV light and you can't even see the filament. It's it's right there. But it's not showing because there's no UV light in it. This glow in the dark. It's so beautiful, man. I really love this filament. It's so beautiful. Ugh, just so fun shining this light on. It shines so fast. You just need to do this for a couple of seconds and kaboom. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just looks so, so good. Boom, wow, it's shiny again. And the print from the Camo Max is so amazing. Everything combined is just perfect. Okay, well, I believe that concludes this video of me testing these three filament out. This is from Zero, Twinkling Black. This is from HP, 3D filament, Glow in the Dark, Glitter Green. Glow in the Dark, Glitter, oh my gosh, you can say it. Glow in the Dark, Glitter Green, oh my gosh, try seeing that. Okay, comment down below if you can say that. Glow in the dark, glitter green. Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Glow in the dark, glitter green. This is um sparkly white or glitter white, however you want to call it. It's white with some black dots, white dots, gray dot, and it looks amazing. All oh, these three prints, it's amazing. These filaments are great. It's just that they are kind of brittle, but once it's printed, it looks beautiful and it's very sturdy. So yeah, if you are interested in these filaments, as always, links are down in the description below. You can check them on yourself. Well, that concludes today's video of testing some new filament that I haven't used yet. More of these videos are coming in the future. If you want to see me test more variety of filaments like this, uh, I'll even go crazier and do some PGG ASA with some carbon fiber in the future, maybe sparkly ASA, which I had some already and you, you saw it in the previous video on the cable max these things these things looks beautiful these things looks beautiful but anyway that is it with this video of filament testing i'll see you on the next print as always keep on printing this is my storage box no it's my storage box it's my no it's my oh i am neither yours this is my storage box